Let's talk now about fuzzy logic control. First, we'll talk about fuzzy model concept. Fuzzy controllers are applicable when the processes are not easily described using conventional analytical tools, but they can be described in form of rules based, for example, on the knowledge of a human expert. Obviously, humans are able to control many complicated systems without making explicit mathematical models of the system. Thus, it is more sensible to model the behavior of a human who controls the process than to model the process analytically as usually done in classical control. Observing the behavior of human operators and interviewing them about their knowledge often allows the derivation of linguistic rules which can be used to form the rule base, as we previously discussed. Fuzzy controls are characterized by a few parameters, impose a low computational burden and produce multidimensional mappings from a set of input variables to one variable or a set of output variables. Fuzzy modeling of a process has several features, as the rule structure of a fuzzy controller that makes it easy to incorporate human expertise about the target system directly into the modeling process, and this domain knowledge being a particularity of fuzzy systems. Or numerical data that plays an important role in fuzzy modeling since when the input output data of the system is available, conventional system identification techniques can be used for fuzzy modeling. The principle of fuzzy control were for the first time described by Mamdani, who developed a type of fuzzy controller named after him, Mamdani controller. Many fuzzy controllers based on this model have been developed since. The overall Fuzzy control scheme can be observed in the figure uh, next to me. A fuzzy control consists in fact in uh, three main sections as uh, it can be observed. The fuzzy fire, the fuzzy inference engine, and the defuzzification. In the picture, you see the whole general scheme of this fuzzy controller. Let's take it one by one. Fuzzification, the first stage. So fuzzification is the process performed by the fuzzy fire which converts crisp inputs into fuzzy grades of membership. By using fuzzy sets, the fuzzy, uh, the fuzzy fire uh, models uncertainties found on the model's input. If the form of uncertainty happens to arise because of imprecision, ambiguity, or vagueness, then the variable is probably fuzzy and can be represented by a membership function. In the case of fuzzification, there are several possible decision parameters that have to be established from the very beginning the type of membership functions, the mean, spread, the peak of them, the symmetry, the cross points, the continuous or discrete support, the number of membership functions. The most popular type of fuzzification is a singleton, which assumes no noise on the crisp input. The singleton maps XS to a fuzzy set A with a membership like the following one. When using this type, this type of fuzzification, the calculation of the system output is very simple, it's simplified. Membership functions can be symmetrical or asymmetrical. They are typically defined on one-dimensional universe, but they can be also described on multidimensional universes. Thus, a curve represented in a one-dimensional universe will become a hypersurface in an n-dimensional universe. These hypersurfaces are simple mappings from combination of the parameters in the n-dimensional space to a membership value on the interval 0, 1. This membership value expresses the degree of membership that the, the specific um, combination of parameters in the n-dimensional space has in a particular fuzzy set defined on the n-dimensional universal discussion. Several classes of membership functions are given below and you can observe the description for a triangular, mem triangular membership function specified by three parameters ABC. Also trapezoidal membership functions specified by four parameters ABCD. A Gaussian membership function, which is specified by two parameters. A generalized Bell membership functions, also specified by three parameters. And the sigmoidal membership function that is specified by two parameters as it can be seen. So, in the figure, you can observe the possible shapes for the membership function in all the cases. In a triangular membership function, trapezoidal one, Gaussian one, generalized Bell membership function, or a sigmoid, sigmoidal membership one. Let's go further with the second uh, stage. We'll talk about fuzzy inference engine. 
the entire knowledge of the system designers is stored as rules in the knowledge base. Thus, the rules have a basic influence on the closed-loop behavior of the system. The development of rules may be time-consuming, but some methods can be applied in order to find them. Heuristic design rules, online adaptation of rules, crisp modeling of the process, and so on. So in this way, the development time can be decreased. A fuzzy if-then rule has a form if x is a, then y is b. Here, a and b are linguistic values defined by fuzzy sets on universes of discuss upper x and upper y, respectively. x is a is called the antecedent or the premise. y is b is called the consequence or the conclusion of the rule. The above expression can be also translated as a implies b and describes the relation between two variables x and y. This means that a fuzzy if the rule can be defined as a binary fuzzy relation R on the product space x by y. For an n-dimensional input signal output fuzzy controller, the rule base is composed of a sequence of fuzzy rules defined as R, the rule, is equals with if x1 is a1 and x2 is a2 and so on till xn is an, then the conclusion y is b. So the idea is that upper i, upper b are fuzzy linguistic labels defined on the input and output variables respectively. The antecedent of the rule is formed from the intersection. So as you can see, the fuzzy end operation of the univariate linguistic statements, which can be represented by mu a. Via the fuzzy implication operator if then, individual rules map the multivariate fuzzy set into the rules set consequence. A linguistic statement describing the system's output is its consequence. C is in fact the rule confidence and takes value in the interval 0, 1. It represents the confidence the rule being true. If the rule does not contribute to the system's output, then C is zero. A complete rule base is produced from the union of all these fuzzy rules. This is performed by a fuzzy OR operator. In order to implement the fuzzy controller, the fuzzification that performs the logical fuzzy operators AND, IF, THEN, and OR have to be defined. Let's go further and talk about the fuzzification. The third stage. The fuzzification is the conversion of a fuzzy quantity to a crisp quantity. As it was already mentioned in the previous section, the output of a fuzzy process is a logical union of two or more fuzzy membership functions defined on the universe of discuss of the output variables. To obtain a crisp output from the distribution of the fuzzy membership across the output, mu b must be defuzzified. Several defuzzification methods were developed uh, the most one, the most used ones can be considering the center of gravity method, the mean of maxima. Uh, this one provides the possibility to choose the point with the maximum membership value. The numerator in this case is the sum of the uh, position of such maximal membership and the denominator is the number of such points. Another defasification method is considered the, considered the weighted average method. This one is valid only for symmetrical output membership function. It is given by the expression um, you can see uh, next to me. This method is formed by weighting each membership function in the output by its respective maximum membership value. And the figure shows this defasification method, center, center of gravity, mean of maxima, the weighted average method. Let's talk now about the controller, the Mamdami Fuzzy Controller. This was the first attempt to control a steam engine and boiler combination by a set of linguistic control rules. Um, if used for the rules, the composition rule was max mean and the defasification method was the center uh, of gravity. The typical Mamdami Fuzzy Controller can be seen in the figure. 